You already know I'm a character. Hey Power Director peeps, it's Saturday one more again and today I'm going to show you how to do the character intro effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The character intro freeze effect is an awesome effect that allows your audience a bit of insight into a character when they first appear in your video. It's a great tool that can be used in any type of video. Let's introduce some folks. As you can see, I have a clip of a girl in the timeline and she's playing around with a bow and arrow. Safety first, my people. Safety first. Now, I only have one clip on the timeline because I only need to show this to you once. After you see it done once, you'll be able to duplicate the process as many times as you need for your own video. First thing I want to do is move the playhead to a position where I want the action to freeze. Now, I want to go ahead and create a freeze at this position, so I need to take a snapshot of this frame. So I'm going to click on the snapshot button. Give it a name. And pick the location where I want it to go. I'm good where it's at right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now to create the freeze, we need to move the snapshot to the timeline. And we need to go ahead and split the clip so that we can put the snapshot in between the two videos. That will make it freeze. So where the playhead is, I'm going to leave it right where it was, where I created the snapshot. And I'm going to do control T on my keyboard to split that clip. Now that it's split, I want to go ahead and move the clip down. So here is the snapshot that I created. I'm going to move this down. I'm going to left click, hold down my left mouse and drag it right on top of this clip. And when I let it go, I'm going to select insert and move all clips. So that puts it in between those two video clips and I'm good to go. Next thing I want to do is create a zoom to kind of give it a little bit of spark, a little bit of flair, a little bit of motion and movement. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of motion and movement. So I'm going to move my playhead forward 10 frames. In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the period key on my keyboard 10 times. Once I get my uh, playhead where I want it, I'm going to do control T. It'll split that clip right there. Now, the next thing that I want to do is double click on this little clip that I just created, which will open up the PIP designer. And now I want to go ahead and go to object settings. And I want to create keyframes here for my scale. Now, you may need to create keyframes for scale and position. I just need to create scale keyframes because I'm just going to scale it in and scale it out to create that zoom. But if you need to move the person over any, you might want to create position keyframes as well. So now I'm going to move my playhead to the end because I want to create a keyframe here at the end where it zooms in. And in order to zoom it in, I need to change my scale. So I'm going to change my scale to 1.750. I'm going to hit enter and you can see that it zooms in. So if you were to play this back, I'm just going to scrub the timeline. Oh, let's go ahead and play it. You'll see that it zooms in real quick. All right, so I'm good there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now I want to double click on this next clip, which is still the snapshot. And I want to go ahead and create a freeze at the same scale that the previous zoom went up to. So I'm going to double click on this and it'll open up the PIP designer. I'm going to go to object settings again. And I'm going to change the scale to the same scale that I did the first time, 1.750, and I'm going to hit enter. But this time I'm not going to use any keyframes because I just want it to stay at this position. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Then I'm going to move my playhead to the end of this clip by hitting the end key. And I'm going to go back 10 frames by using the previous frame button. And then I'm going to go ahead and do control T to split this clip. And I created a small clip here and I'm going to double click on this to open up the PIP designer again. I'm going to go back to object settings again. And this time we're going to zoom out. 
So as you can see, the scale is already at 1.75. I'm gonna go ahead and create a scale keyframe here. I'm gonna move my playhead to the end and I'm gonna change the scale to one and hit enter. So that'll bring it back down. So now it's gonna actually zoom out. So if I play this, it'll zoom out real fast. So I'm okay here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now this middle section, that's the free section. You can make it as long as you want. I want mine to be three seconds. So I'm just gonna left click on it. And then I'm gonna click on this duration button. And I'm gonna type in a duration I want, 0300 and hit enter. Now I wanna change these to black and white so that it stands out and it adds a little bit of all that flizz air I was talking about earlier. So I'm gonna go to the first section that I created, the first zoom, I'm gonna left click on that. I'm gonna go to fix enhance. I'm gonna go to color adjustment. And I'm gonna bring my saturation all the way down to zero. I'm gonna click on this middle section, the frozen section. I'm gonna go ahead and change the saturation to zero. I'm gonna click on the last section, the last zoom, change the saturation to zero there as well. And when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Now we can add our text for that extra piece of flair. There's so much flair going on that it's flizzery. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the title room. In here, I wanna go down to the vintage titles pack. And I'm gonna choose vintage title 09. I'm gonna left click, hold down my mouse, and I'm gonna drag it underneath this first little section that I created. I'm gonna place my cursor at the end till I see two arrows pointed in opposite direction. I'm gonna hold down my left mouse and I'm gonna drag this back. And now it's just covering those three little clips that I created for the freeze frame. So now I'm gonna double click on this to go ahead and make some changes to the title. I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And the first thing that I wanna do is change the rotation. So you can place your cursor over this little green dot, hold down your left mouse and move it so that it rotates it. I'm just gonna type in the rotation that I want and hit enter. And then as far as the scale, I'm gonna type in the scale that I want and hit enter. And then for the X and Y position, of course, if you wanna just place your cursor over and wait till you see the crosshairs, hold down your left mouse, you can drag it where you want it to be, you know? got options to do all that good stuff. I'm just gonna type this in. And then you wanna change your text to be what you want your text. And once you're done, you go ahead and click on okay. Now, all you gotta do is repeat these steps for all of the clips that you wanna do, and it's a Riz app. I'm gonna play this black and show you exactly what it looks like. That introduction makes me happy to make your acquaintance. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.